Amidst the chaos of the Israel Gaza war and also the mounting casualties, the world is watching with bated breath as the negotiations for a potential Gaza ceasefire conclude only to resume next week. The fragile hope for peace hangs by a thread, while Israel's latest orders for the Palestinians to evacuate again has made the Palestinians ask this question not for the first time. Where should they go for safety? Our next poll gets you more details in terms of what is unfolding at this moment in West Asia. Iran-backed Hezbollah has released this propaganda film. Perpetrately showcasing underground missile silos and imposing launchers. A chilling reminder of the group's growing arsenal. The Lebanon-based group is boasting of precision-guided missiles and cutting-edge weaponry. Haifa's Kiryat Haim industrial area is feeding residents concerns after Hezbollah revealed that the facility in northern Israel was in its sights. No, it's not safe anywhere, but this is our home. All this area, it's our home. Where we, we are not going to go, go everywhere. Nowhere. It's not a secret that our enemies from the north said clearly that one of the goals is to hit the areas of the plants, the areas of the petrochemical industry, when it's so close to the homes of the residents. In Doha, negotiators are meeting for a second day of discussions, their efforts overshadowed by the escalating violence in Gaza. Mediators are seeking to prevent the spark that could ignite a broader regional inferno. We affirm that we will spare no effort to reach an immediate ceasefire in Gaza, as this is the basis for de-escalation and easing tensions. Despite months of intermittent dialogue, fundamental disagreements continue to thwart progress. Israel's unwavering stance on Hamas's destruction clashes violently with the militant group's demand for a permanent ceasefire. As talks limp along, the relentless Israeli offensive persists. The tiny, densely populated Gaza Strip endures a merciless barrage, with new evacuation orders shattering the illusion of safety in the previously designated civilian zones. Palestinian health authorities are reporting over 40,000 deaths in Gaza. For the displaced and desperate, survival has become a grim numbers game. Today we have reached 40,000 martyrs in Gaza and thousands of injuries. These numbers have become like a numbers game or the stock exchange. There is an increase every day. The intense negotiations in Doha unfold against a backdrop of heightened regional tensions as Iran's threats of retaliation for the assassination of Hamas leader Ismail Hani in Tehran loom large. With the latest US intel indicating Iran may attack Israel anytime, the Israeli government is reaching out to its Western allies with a plea to stand beside the country in retaliation against Iran. Bureau Report, Beyond World is One. So the big question, of course, is what is the upshot? What is the result of all these negotiations that are taking place at this moment? Because remember, this round of negotiations happened in Doha. And a joint statement has, in fact, been put out by the United States, Egypt and Qatar, which interestingly says that the negotiating officials will reconvene for talks again in Cairo next week. The statement further says that a proposal was in fact presented to both sides today in Doha. But at this point of time, we are not anywhere near close to a ceasefire deal in the Gaza Strip. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.